Hey everyone, how's it going? Uh, it's been a while since I did a video on a Navian. Um, figured it'd be a perfect time. I have a new error code that I've never had before, E353. Um, I'm gonna take the cover of the Navian off. I'm gonna show you what the error code says on the back, what the recommendation is, and how I fixed it. All right, I got the cover off here, and according to the back, E353 is abnormal operation water pressure sensor. And of course, contact technical support so look let's keep it easy here so i'm going to go through and actually show you what i did and then i'm going to run through the manual very briefly to show you where i found the information show you the part that i ordered and where i ordered it from so if you're looking at the front of your navian here uh, i have a navian ncb 240e the problem is the water pressure sensor um i don't know exactly why it goes bad i don't know if there's sediment built up in it but whatever the case is, the water pressure sensor is bad. So I've already gone ahead and changed it. Um, but what you need to do first is you need to disconnect this little connection here. Um, be very careful not to tug on these wires too hard. Um, but it should pop out relatively easy. And then you're going to go ahead and screw off the water pressure sensor. Now, I'm not going to go ahead and say how to isolate the water coming out of this pressure sensor because I did mine probably the incorrect way. But if you take this off and you do not isolate the water pressure sensor, a lot of water is gonna come flying out of there at a very high pressure. Um, so that's on you on how you wanna do that. If you wanna look up a video on isolating it, or if you wanna just go ahead and I guess try <laughs> unscrew it, let the water fly out and quickly screw the new one on. Uh, I've seen people do that before. Um, that's up to you. So that's the actual part that you're going to want to replace. It's uh, actually labeled WPS. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and run through the manual a little bit and I'm going to show you where I found that information. So we're here looking at the manual. This is page number 75, again, for the Navian that I have. Um, and this lists through a bunch of different part numbers and parts and diagrams and so on and so forth. But to keep it simple for this video, the one that you're gonna to wanna to look for is right here, number 16, LWCO pressure sensor. And it gives you a part number at the top. This is the old part number. If you look that up anywhere you go, it's gonna tell you, uh, let's see, number 16. It'll show that part number, but it'll also tell you old part number, new part number. Um, here's the package that mine came in. You can see right there, it says Navian 3001469A, water pressure sensor. Um, believe it or not, I actually got this off Amazon. And it came the next day, which is very helpful because I went to go take a shower. And it got ice cold in the shower. I come down and I had E353. Um, and replacing that sensor uh, is what the problem is. So with that being said, I really hope you enjoyed that quick video on how to fix the Navian. Uh, E353 error code. Um, if you have any questions or suggestions, something maybe I didn't do correctly, uh, maybe even post in the comments if somebody knows uh, that deals with this stuff on a professional level, uh, how to isolate the uh, water pressure sensor so that water doesn't come spraying out at them. Uh, whatever the case is, if you found it helpful, please give me a like, give me a comment. Please consider subscribing. I put videos of my Navien uh, and pretty much anything that has to do with uh, home things, home improvement, if you want to call it that. Um, so. Thank you for watching.